The leadership of the National Super Alliance met this morning to review the state of affairs in the country and emerging issues in the coalition and agreed as follows. 1. That NASA takes a dim view of the bill by Jubilee-leaning MP William Cassate Comgut to create one term, seven-year president and an executive prime minister as head of government. The leaders asked Kenyans to treat the bill as a sideshow and an attempt by Jubilee to scuttle NASA's quest for electoral justice that will entail fundamental reforms to the way elections are conducted. The MP is a mere agent of vested interests and the forces of impunity that NASA is keen to dismantle. 2. That the bill has a chilling resemblance to others that have been implemented in the region, notably in Uganda and Rwanda where the seven-year term presidency has been introduced and is a pointer to the thinking in Jubilee on the direction elections should take in Kenya going forward. 3. That the changes NASA is seeking are contained in the BOMA's draft constitution. The BOMA's draft contains cures to the problems of inclusion, strengthening of devolution, the shape of the executive and security sector reforms. The adoption and implementation of those changes will have to be consultative and people-driven and not an exclusive affair negotiated in Parliament, hence the need for a national dialogue on the country's future. 4. NASA is deeply concerned by the fragile state of the country and is worried that Kenya is on tenterhooks with any small incident capable of setting the country aflame yet Jubilee remains in denial and occasionally openly support acts of impunity and selective application of the law. 5. That the fragile state of affairs indicates that people are running out of patience and the window for a national conversation on the current state of affairs in the country is closing. 6. That NASA is deeply disturbed by the inept handling of a knee-jerk reaction by Jubilee to the problems facing the country notably the drought, the escalating destruction of the country's water towers, the refusal by the National Treasury to release funds to the counties, the growing national debt, borrowing spree and the persistent failure by the Kenya Revenue Authority to meet revenue collection targets because of the poor state of the economy while Jubilee maintains an appetite for spending money it does not have. 7. That NASA stands with governors who have taken lead in preserving the environment in the face of the failure by the national government to do so. The coalition appeals to all counties to do the same and take the lead in planting trees while conserving existing ones. 8. That NASA remains united in the quest for electoral justice and asks its elected leaders to focus on the same and dedicate themselves to fighting for Kenyans. The meeting was hosted by the coalition's leader Rayla Odinga and attended by co-principals Honorable Kanzo Musioka and Mazalia Midvati. Senator Moses Wetangula was absent with apologies to attend an election petition case in western Kenya. The meeting of the principals was preceded by a session with representatives of the Carter Center who presented a report on the elections of 2017.